Laney Wilson and Watermelon Moonshine on 101.7 KCM, your hometown radio station. Brian and Tracy on your Monday morning. And uh, have you seen a lot of these uh, novelty versions of Monopoly? You know, Huntsville has their own. I didn't know that. So Huntsville does, really. Yeah, I, I want to say one of the pharmacies like Walgreens or CVS, they've got the Huntsville version of Monopoly. Oh, that's pretty cool. And they got some different landmarks that are around the corner. Someone online made a joke here a while back to... You know, the Monopoly board for Huntsville is going to be filled with Mexican restaurants and car washes. <laughs> so I'd have to go take a look at that. That sounds hilarious. Uh, but but the newest one that is now out just in time for Christmas is a limited edition Costco version of Monopoly. They announced it recently, and they're already sold out wow. online. Uh, so someone, they were selling them for like 45 bucks each. That's but crazy. now someone bought a whole bunch of them, and they're hawking them on eBay for twice that amount. Uh, but they're, they're just like the other specialty editions of Monopoly, uh, but it's Costco theme. They've got uh, membership cards that, that are in instead of the chance in community chest. And uh, instead of Boardwalk and Park Place, they've got properties of Costco located all the way around the world. And uh, so, and, you know, and on the pieces that you move around, they've got a giant teddy bear. They got a slice of pizza from the food court. They got the hot dog and soda combo. They've got the employee's name badge, and, and they got all kinds of crazy things. What about things. the free samples? I don't know if they got free samples. Maybe that's samples. their free parking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. So some of their physical locations might still have them uh, uh, in, in stock. So I don't know if you go down to Conroe, you might be able to find one there. But uh, the cheapest one we found on eBay was like 70 bucks. Wow. Man. That's crazy. See, I thought I I have the um, the Star Wars one Monopoly game. Oh, you do? Oh gosh, yes. Oh, that would be cool. It is cool. The force you know? is with you. The force is always with you. So, but the Costco now, like I said, now I'm going to be looking for the free samples. And our Southeast Texas forecast calling for a sunny, warm day up to 95. Clear overnight, 71. Sunny and 95 for Friday as well. Sun coming up, and it's a beautiful Thursday straight ahead. 73 degrees now at K Sam. Tomorrow is Saturday. That means the farmers markets are going to be going full blast across Walker and Montgomery counties. Have you ever had purple whole peas on cornbread with bacon? I have not, but that does sound delicious. Oh, man, it's good. All right, so uh, fresh eggs, local honey, locally grown fresh produce. Be sure you get to the farmers market that is nearest you. Uh, open on Saturday mornings. The, a lot of these, especially the ones here in Huntsville, uh, they'll also have some great homemade gifts and things of that sort. So uh, you want to get there early for the best selection on Saturday morning. Apple pecan homemade bread. Pecan? That's, pecan. So apple pecan. Pecan. Pecan pecan. You, never, you Nevada people, <laughs> come on. Pecan. Pecan. All right. Hey, details about all of the farmer's markets on our community events page at ksam1017.com. Community Spotlight, brought to you by Wiesner of Huntsville. Carlos here on the Midday Show. Got your weather forecast on the way. Also got Rascal Flats, David Lee Murphy on the way as well. Hey, I want to let you know you can learn more about what's happening in Huntsville at the State of the City. It is Thursday, October the 19th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at Walker County Storm Shelter. You can get updates on city projects from your city manager. You can talk with city council members and citizens from throughout our community. And the Huntsville Walker County Chamber of Commerce will host the event and provide refreshments for all of you who attend. For more information, visit our website, ksam1017.com. Well, there's a new study out, folks, on the most and least popular slang for all age groups. And it includes the most used slang words. For boomers, the number one is bummer, followed by mellow and wannabe. For Gen X, it's chill, it's real chill followed by lame and also bummer. For millennials, the number one most used slang word is OMG, OMG, yes. Uh, followed by chill and lame. And for Gen Z, most used slang word is selfie, followed by OMG and ghosted. There's, a, there's also a rundown of the slang words that we want to go away forever. For us folks in Gen Z, they want to banish the words savage and uh, POV for some reason. Uh, for millennials, they want to forget the word slay, sluss, sluss, goodness gracious, sus. I, I combined slay and sus there. And then clout as well. Yeah, makes sense. Carlos here on the Midday Show. 
Got your weather forecast coming up in just a few moments. Also got Miranda Lambert and Thomas Rett on the way as well. Well, how many times a day, let me ask you, do you take out your phone to snap a picture? Well, a new poll has found the average is six times a day. It also found the average American currently has 2,795 photos saved on their phone. Most co- the most common pics we have are shots of friends and family, selfies, and pictures of our pets. Here are the most common reasons people said that they take photos. Number one, because we want to look back on a moment later. Two, to take a photo of something unusual or something we've never seen before. To show something to someone else. To post it on social media. Because there's a, quote, cuteness factor. So that one's mostly about the kids and the pets. I'm going to pull my phone out right now. I'm going to tell you how many phone photos are sitting in my phone right now. Here, passcode is punched in. Opening the photos app. I know my iCloud photos haven't been updated in 38 days. You can remind me about that later, Apple. Here we go. 22,414. Should probably back up the iCloud. Morgan in five minutes. Part of 90s at noon on your hometown radio station, 101.7 K Sam. Carlos with you on the Midday Show. Your weather forecast is coming up, and I got more 90s at noon on the way with Dwight Yoakam, Shania Twain, and also Rick Trevino and Glenn Black this hour. Well, it's time for a food story. More of a candy story today. You know Sour Patch Kids? They aren't just for the movies or when you want to buy Halloween candy next month, but no trick-or-treaters showed up, so you, quote, have to eat it all. There are actually some really tough situations in adult life where Sour Patch Kids can come to your rescue, so I want you to check these out. If you're cramping up, Sour Patch Kids can help you. The theory, extremely sour foods trigger a specific set of receptors in your body that stop cramps. You can also try pickle juice to cure cramps, but that is less tasty to say the least. You can also stop panic attacks as well. When you feel a panic attack coming on, eating something sour like Sour Patch Kids gives you an intense sensory experience, and that can break you out of your spiral and help ground you. Who would have thought? So, you know, in a new poll, 70% of people admit that they have pretended to enjoy a meal to avoid hurting somebody's feelings. Okay, I can get that. I've actually done that as well. Uh, And it can be a really nice move in some situations. However, if it's a family member or a close friend, got to be careful because they might think you loved it and they'll make that mess for you again. (laughs) I'm just saying. Uh, Here are some other uh, takes from that uh, same poll. 64% of people say, you know what? Food is their love language. 48% say they like to show their loved ones by surprising them with their favorite foods. And more than half of people say they have cooked someone a meal simply to say, I love you. Uh, And the most romantic foods to share with a partner? Cookies, ice cream, or milkshakes. Oh, and pizza. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Hey, there you go. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, uh, just be careful. You know what I mean? Chris Jansen, all I need is you on your hometown radio station. 101.7 KCM. Good morning. I am Big Glenn Edwards. Hey, this is happening right now. Huntsville's Touch a Truck inviting kiddos to come on out, climb aboard fire trucks, utility trucks, and more. It's all taking place in downtown Huntsville. Now, it's going to be quiet time until 11. No, no sirens or anything like that. So kiddos that have noise sensitivity can actually take part as well. But then the event goes until 1 o'clock this afternoon. Like to find out more? Log on to our website, head to our community calendar at ksam1017.com. Morgan Wallen on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hornet Game Day Saturday here on this edition of the Saturday Afternoon Drive. Jordan Smith here taking you through the tunes for the next few hours as we get ready and gear up for our Huntsville Hornets as they take on Lamar Consolidated live from Rosenberg, Texas kickoff. At 6 o'clock tonight, 5.15 pregame with the Charlie's Used Cars pregame show right here on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM FM on our website at ksam1017.com, the KSAM mobile app on iOS and Android devices. And if you want to watch the game, you can't make it out and you want to see the action, head to our YouTube channel with the live video broadcast on the 101.7 KSAM YouTube channel. It's time to get excited, folks. Our Hornets are coming off a big win last week. And now we've got an opportunity to go 2-0 in the early part of the district and set ourselves up for a very, very nice rest of the season. <laughs> Blake Shelton on 101.7. Case Sam playing today's best country and all of your favorites. All right, folks. It is time for your five random facts of the weekend we start off at number five the passengers in the first ever hot air balloon ride were a sheep a duck and a rooster 
It happened in France in 1783, and the king was worried about how the altitude would affect people. So he wanted to test it on animals first. And that's not that shocking. The flight lasted approximately eight minutes, and it flew about two miles before landing safely back on the ground. So glad all the animals are safe first off. <laughs> and glad it went okay. Otherwise, history may have been forever changed if it had not. Number four fact of the day, the non-blondes were a one-hit wonder in 1993, and their song that was called What's Up, even though that's not actually in the lyrics. The lyrics say what's going on, but Marvin Gaye already had a famous song with that title. Everybody knows that one, but yeah, so technically their title is nowhere in the song, like most music. A yeah, little interesting tidbit out there for you, all you music buffs <laughs> in the world. Number three fact, there have been seven prison escapes in U.S. history where the inmates got away in a helicopter. But eight, if you count Puerto Rico. <laughs> but what well, the funny part about it, I guess funny, but also good part about it, they were caught again every single time. So it seems like the helicopter didn't work in their favor. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a GPS on there or something. I don't know. Either way. Number two, there's only one state that doesn't have a bicameral legislator. That means two houses, like a state and a Senate and a state house. Nebraska is the only one that doesn't have two. It has one. Just one. That's it. Just one. And the number one fact of the day, you've probably heard of a baseball player being traded for a, quote, player to be named later. It's basically a way for a team to make a move right away within a time frame, but decide on precise compensation later. Due to the ambi ambiguity, four MLB players have been traded for themselves. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, obviously, I know the player to be named later. I know it also kind of partly has to do with, with service time in a way. Um, but... But yeah, I don't know. At least service time in the minor leagues, because that's usually it's a it's a, a lower level minor leaguer that's a player to be named later, obviously. So, um, yeah, I don't know. That one's um, sure. I guess you can get traded for yourself. I don't I don't really know how that works, but oh well. <laughs> Here's your five random facts of the weekend. We got Mitchell Tenpenny coming up for you with We Got History on K Sam Morgan Wallen on one hundred one point seven K Sam. As time, folks, it is time, I should say. <laughs> I don't know why I can't speak right now, but it's time to celebrate some birthdays here today. If you've got a birthday here and you're listening right now, first off, happy birthday from all of us here at 101.7 KSAM. Hope that your Saturday and your birthday weekend is going off strong so far. Here's some people that you celebrate your birthday with, and it's an interesting list. We're going to start things off with a little bit younger of a person, Maddie Ziegler, 21 years old. And if you don't know that name, you might know the face. It's the kid dancing in Sia's music videos for Chandelier and Elastic Heart. I know everybody in the world has seen those music videos. So that's one person you celebrate a birthday with. So happy birthday to Ziegler. Also, the founding father of Autotune, 39 years old. That's right. It's T-Pain's birthday today. <laughs> happy birthday, T-Pain. Kieran Culkin is 41 years old, and if that last name sounds familiar, that's because it is. It's Macaulay Culkin's younger brother. He's Roman Roy on HBO Succession and played Rye Gerhardt on Fargo. Happy birthday to him, as well as Daniel Wu, 49 years old, played Sonny on AMC's Into the Badlands. Some other people that you celebrate a birthday with, Robbie Takich, 59 years old, the bassist for the Goo Goo Dolls. Happy birthday, as well as Marty Stewart, 65 years old, country singer and songwriter. And finally, you know him from the Brady Bunch. He played Greg. It's Barry Williams, 69 years old today. Happy birthday to everybody on that list. And again, happy birthday to all of you if you're listening right here on 101.7 KSAM. As that rounds out our birthdays here on this Saturday, September the 30th. Coming up, just in a little bit, I've got some of the 690 words that have just been added to Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. Some of them are 
Interesting. <laughs> Corey Kent wild as her on 101.7 K Sam playing today's best country and all of your favorites. All right, folks. It went around the the online, the, the internet, the web. I sound old. <laughs> It was on the internet and social media yesterday that there were some new words added to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. In fact, there were 690 new words and terms that were added to the dictionary just a few weeks ago, but it was officially announced basically yesterday in the last 48 hours, so on and so forth. I've got a list here uh, of 20 of them. We're going to read through them here. Number 20, cape, to act as a defender or supporter. So if you stick up for someone, you're caping them. In, in different meaning of the word. Beast mode. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, beast mode is is, is added. Uh, kiss and cry in professional ice skating. It's the area just off the ice where they sit and wait to see their scores. K-Fob. Dates back to at least the 1980s. Unspoken agreement between professional wrestlers and fans to pretend it's all real. Well, there you go. Surprise, that wasn't already in there. Uh, Chefy, if someone's a good cook, you might say you're so Chefy. Sure. Finsta. Fake Instagram. Okay. Doom scroll. Excessively scrolling through news or other content that makes you feel sad, anxious, or angry. I think that's especially applicable in today's world. <laughs> Grammable. Is something worthy of being posted on Instagram? Come on, people. Really? That's what we're considering a word now? All right. Thirst trap. Seriously. Okay. I'm <laughs> I'm ready to do what this next word is. Rage quit. <laughs> that was added. Okay. Sure. All right. Speaking of quit, quiet quit. Let's do the, do the minimum amount of work required and slowly fade into zero amount of work. <laughs> Number nine, speed run followed by jorts. Again, I'm surprised that wasn't already in there. UAP, short for Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. It's a new term for UFOs. Don't know why it's a new term, but here you go. NGL, short for Not Gonna Lie. Okay. TFW, short for That Feeling When. Okay. Doggo, slang for dog. Okay. Sure. Um, mid, really? Mid? We have mid in the dictionary now? All right. I know I sound I sound old, but hey, get, stay with me here. Number two, Riz. Oh my gosh, romantic appeal or charm. It's short for charisma. Somehow, Riz in the last year has made its way into the Merriam-Webster dictionary. Seriously, all right. And number one, girl boss, an ambitious and successful businesswoman or entrepreneur. Yeah, I mean that one I could see more, but. Some of these things on this list are very questionable. Whether I thought they were already on there or just there's no reason for them to be on it in period. In period. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get away from that. Let's go to a song that's on the top 10. All the way down to number 9 at Luke Combs. It's Love You Anyway. Here on KSAM. Couldn't think of a better artist to lead us into the end of our show here. The hometown hero in Cody Johnson here on 101.7 KSAM as folks that does it for my show here today. A little bit shorter, but there's a perfectly good reason for that. It's Hornet game day, ladies and gentlemen, as your Huntsville Hornets take on Lamar Consolidated. Down in Rosenberg, live from Trailer Stadium, Carlos Zimmerman, Brian Adams, and Luke Scott on the call of the action, live from Rosenberg and at Trailer Stadium, with the Charlie's Used Cars pregame show coming up just around the corner. So be sure you stay tuned right here on the flagship for Huntsville Hornet Football 101.7 KSAM FM. You can also listen on our website at KSAM1017.com, the KSAM mobile app, and watch the live video broadcast on our YouTube channel at the 101.7 KSAM channel. It's been fun, folks. I'll see you next week for another edition of the Saturday Afternoon Drive. Same time, same place every Saturday at 3 o'clock right here on your hometown radio station. 101.7 case and before we head out to rosenberg let's get you a little bit of morgan wallen everything i love here on case and after that it's the hornets and it's game day